From a technology industry perspective, how do we deal with what you know? I think most of us would agree is a growing skills gap, and we we have. You know, a lot of new technologies, a lot of evolving technologies, um, and so because of that, and also because of a, a shifting workforce, um, we're, we're in a situation where a lot of these really critical skills are, are um, you know, pretty scarce today. I mean, I, one of the really easy ones to talk about is data and data analytics and data scientists. Um, so I think. Uh, you know, I think that, first of all, we just have to understand that this is a problem that's going to continue for a while. I mean, it's just like saying we need more mobile developers. We do need more mobile developers, there's no question. But we can't just automatically get them. We have to train them, we have to build them, we have to, to go backwards and figure out upstream how we get there. And so, you know, I think it needs this whole comprehensive look across uh, what we need, how we need it, and then also across the education process to understand how we effectively get those skills into the workforce more rapidly rapidly, and also how we transition some of our current skill sets into those new uh, kinds of roles that we really need. You know, we have a lot of, uh, of IT organizations that have very tech savvy people that spend most of their time doing infrastructure, database, things that frankly are not going to be so interesting when you put everything in the cloud. So how do I take those, you know, very talented technical people and re you know, boot them into a new kind of a world where we, we use them in a different way. Uh, so, I, so it's both, right? It's, it's how do I effectively educate this new generation and help them go into those right directions? You know, we hear all the time about um, college students that get out of college huge debt and they can't find a job. And and I, I have a liberal arts degree too, so I'm not gonna say anything bad about liberal arts, because frankly I think it teaches you effectively how to think about a lot of things that are really useful today. But at the same time, we've got to intersperse that education with real world experience, uh, internships, actual hands-on work that makes you come out of that college experience in a way that's trained to do some of these new things that we really need. And then also, how do I take my current workforce, which is extremely valuable to my company, and leverage that from a talent and performance perspective to lead them down a path where they have new, sellable, usable, important skills that can help close that skills gap. And, and so I, I don't think there's a simple answer to any of that, but I think we have to look across all those different areas to really address them um, as we move forward.